I'm Sean Stass. And I'm Langley, Casual Word Chaser. Today we want to bring awareness to a situation that requires us as a community to come together to find a solution. For those who are unaware, City Council is facing some very difficult decisions regarding the future of Bristol. This may be the most challenging or obstacle our city's ever had to face in recent history. And the outcome will certainly affect the future of all of us who call Bristol, Virginia our home. Especially our kids. See, we are in the throes of an economic crisis that could leave future generations with less opportunities and more burdens if we don't come up with creative solutions. The situation here is multifaceted, so it's very important to get an understanding of the big picture to understand why the city is proposing a budget cut to the school. A decision that the good people of this city made clear was unacceptable at the last council meeting. Let us take a quick look at some of the situations that we as a community are now facing. 87% of the students in the Bristol, Virginia public school system live below the poverty line. One of our oldest still operating facilities, Highland View, has the highest concentration of those students anywhere in the state of Virginia. The rise in poverty is one of the main contributing factors to the rise in crime and addiction here in our city. And now, our jails are housing more inmates than ever. The problem with our jail is directly related to the plight that our education system is facing. And the only way to fix this problem in the long term is to do whatever it takes now to make our kids job ready instead of jail ready. The next issue is our landfill. If we were able to find a way to relieve ourselves of the financial burden created here, then it would remove the need for many of the other proposed budget cuts. And finally, we have the problem that everyone is aware of and most are upset about, the, the Falls, Falls Plaza. Plaza. The city spent $86 million on this development. And we know that it wasn't executed as thoughtfully as it could have been. And everybody's voiced their opinions and their distaste at the situation. But the fact remains that there's a situation that must be dealt with. And the time is now to stop talking about the problems. And start talking about creative and comprehensive solutions. We have four years to prepare for the first payment on the bonds that cover this development. This payment is in the amount of $2.4 million. That amount will then have to be paid every year until 2044. Therefore, the city is looking to save $600,000 a year for the next four years to prepare us for this first payment. In order to save this money, part of the proposal is to take away $300,000 from the education system. On May 8th at 6 p.m., we need to all come to City Hall not to criticize our leaders, but rather to work together with them to help find a reasonable solution that does not include depriving our children. I am in seventh grade at Virginia Middle School. I'm here to talk about the cutting of school programs. When we heard the things that were being cut, already people said that they were going to different schools or dropping out. I want to speak to you tonight on behalf of the musical arts program in our schools. We all know that if our budget gets cut, these programs will be the first to go. For myself and many others in our community, this is unacceptable. If you truly want to develop economically and you want people to move to the area, cutting schools is not the way to get to that point. The best way for us to impact the lives of the citizens in our city is to directly support our children. The only way to improve the condition of our city and our public system is to invest in our students. This higher number of people that we have incarcerated and this higher number of people we have addicted to drugs are these children's parents. More than any generation before them, they have more of these factors present in their lives. They statistically say they're headed to jail themselves. They are worth the investment. And if we don't invest their first, this 50 some million dollars we have to pay back over the next two, 22 years, who they're gonna be the ones paying it, they're not gonna be able to do it anyways.